Turning to other news now, the New England Patriots playoff push continues. As you know, they won big against the Houston Texans yesterday at Gillette Stadium thanks to scores by running back Shane Breen and saves by defensive end Rob Ninkovich. The final score, 41-28. to Obviously, Patriots victors there. That and Baltimore's win on Saturday in Denver means a rematch of last year's AFC Championship game next weekend. And the Baltimore Ravens and their fans could be flying into Providence later this week and keeping a lot of the money flowing into local coffers as well. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is working the economic angle of all this. He joins us live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steve? Yeah, Danielle, this was not just a, a huge day for the fans that were cheering on the Patriots at the game and at the bars. The people who make money off of visitors say this is going to be huge for Rhode Island. January in Providence, it's usually a slow time of the year for the Convention and Visitors Bureau. But the Patriots changed all that. It's a win-win for us. The Pats win and we win, so you can't ask for more than that. By beating the Texans, the Patriots host the AFC Championship game for the second year in a row, going up against the Ravens again. The CVB hopes fans from Baltimore will fill Providence hotels and restaurants all week. It's great for us because we um, like to advertise on the sports radio stations of the destinations that are coming in. We actually did Baltimore last year so we can really hit the ground running. Don't be surprised if you see a lot of Ravens gear. Hotels look forward to the potential economic boost. You know, this weekend is going to be huge, so uh, it's going to be great for the city and, and for the state. This is the last home game for the Pats this season, and the CVB is hoping Ravens fans only have Rhode Island's hospitality to cheer about. Um, you know, hopefully they'll be drowning their sorrows after the game, and I, I would much rather they do it in Providence restaurants. And the CVB tells us that it's hard to exactly calculate just how much money this will bring in, but they do say it should be in the millions. Reporting live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.